Jordan House Library opened as a charity in 2003. The house was renovated quite extensively beforehand so that it could house a collection of early women's writing. We have a collection here which deals with women's writing from 1600 to 1830. We're also not only about preserving the collection but we're about promoting the history and heritage of the house and the grounds and the estates as well which we farm on 18th century principles. Well the history is very interesting because Jane Austen was associated with it. Her brother Edward installed Jane his mother and his sister Cassandra in the village of Chawton in 1809. This is the house that they love to come to and dine in and walk around the grounds of. We've got an awful lot of material in this collection that's unique. So manuscript material, novels which would have existed in many hundreds in the 18th and early 19th century but now no longer exist anywhere. Everyone knows about Jane Austen, but they might not know exactly who was writing before her, what women of the 18th century were particularly inspirational for her. So we're really about rediscovering these lost writers and teaching the general public about them. Our visitors come from primary schools right the way up to the most eminent scholars from uh, across the world. I came from Germany to Jordan House because of the books of Jane Austen. Um, I have read these books when I was a little girl. I wanted to see the place where she lived and uh, wanted to smell the air and um, I think it's a very special place. We're not just about the texts. The house itself is open for guided tours during the week, which is a lovely opportunity to come and see some of the wonderful treasures. This is the grand tour portrait of Edward Austin Knight. We have a, a wonderful collection of art. We've got some fantastic furniture and we've got some very eclectic things as well. We've got costume and really wonderful items of material, culture and history that you wouldn't see anywhere else. We also have conferences, workshops, um, charity days, horse riding exhibitions. Uh, demonstrations of rural crafts. It's really about getting people to engage with their history and heritage on, on all sorts of levels. Perhaps people would see this as not necessarily as tangible as sponsoring an endangered species for example, but we say that our heritage is, is in danger of being lost and actually if you come here and have a look at what we're doing on the website you'll be able to appreciate just how this informs who we are today and how we take it forward into the future.